The conclusion in the last slide was that a team is a group of people who have embraced a common aim and have mutual dependency on each other for their what's in it for me, their personal source of benefit or value. And that's a key point. People's vision of benefits will mostly be based on their personal evaluation of their own priorities. And very often that prioritization of personal benefits starts with family and perhaps also then moves on to embrace personal growth. Uh, maybe it includes things like uh, care for the planet, but the company's goals about profit and market share will be a long way down their list. So people will talk out loud about the benefits delivered by the projects of the organisation, but the thing that truly motivates them as individuals will be their own growth, family, rewards, etc. And so the key aspect of identifying and understanding how to succeed here is to ensure that we know what people's individual goals are, that we align those individual goals with the company's goal, and that we understand people's contribution. And the contributions of all of the individuals will make the team successful. And we need to align the success of the team with the earning of the benefits for the individuals. And if we do that, what we will do is build a group of people who will be motivated. And the size and the direction of their motivation will be proportional to their view of how they're going to succeed. And that probably bears some analysis. And we can do some analysis with a very simple two by two grid. Let's have a look at what the analysis might might do for us.